What's up, Ada Nation? Welcome to DAP Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I'm your host here, Fareed, bringing you guys updates and interviews with some of the biggest builders here in the Cardano ecosystem. Today's video will be a little bit different, focusing on a niche that I haven't focused on too much, but I definitely think that it, that it deserves the much needed attention. That said, we're going to be diving into everything Begin Wallet, one of the wallets here representing the Cardano ecosystem. And as a representative for the Begin Wallet, I've got Francis. Francis, good morning. Welcome aboard. How are you doing today? Hello, Farid. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. I am wonderful. I want to thank you first and foremost for taking the time to highlight and bring forth the Begin Wallet here to my community. And as we kick things off, we're just going to be having a very laid back chat talking about what Begin Wallet is, some of the features that differentiate it. Some of them have really caught my attention here over the course of the past couple of weeks. And then I want to get your closing thoughts surrounding where you just see the Begin Wallet going into the year of 2024. So could you please maybe just kind of kick us off here with a brief introduction to yourself and then highlighting what the Begin Wallet is? Sure. Uh, well, my name is Francis. I'm the founder of Begin Wallet and I have more than 20 years in development um, experience. So our team between marketing and development, we hire four now. And then we are developing Begin, which is where our aim is to, to build a DeFi hub in, within the wallet. So bringing all the features like uh, inside swaps, um, buy and exchange um, inside of the wallet and make it easy for every user. Thank you for the quick and concise introduction. Um, Begin Wallet came on my radar not too long ago. Can you maybe highlight for anybody who's just hearing about it for the very first time, some of the basic functions that it provides, and then we'll jump into some of the more nuanced features you guys have just recently released. Yeah, sure. Uh, the wallet itself, like you can manage your uh, perform transactions and manage anything from assets and NFT. Um, you can connect to dApps because we are um, CIP30 compliant, uh, sign transactions and, and so on. This is the most basic thing for, for the wallet. Awesome. I appreciate that. Now, there were some recent teases of features, including notifications. There was also an inclusion of the Cardano Shield, and there's also the inclusion of a fiat on-ramp and off-ramp. Let's maybe kind of kick things off here with notifications in the Cardano Shield. I think both of those are extremely nice, right? These are quality of life features that necessarily, um, or that are necessary for everyday users to use, right? So right now, notifications, a lot of wallets only being available for web browser. Sometimes you guys have a mobile version, which again, is able to give you notifications. Can you maybe highlight what kind of notifications? And then when it comes to the Cardano Shield, maybe highlighting why you guys went that route and some of the benefits that you see with the integration of the Cardano Shield. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, starting from notification point of view, like he, we always, th there is a very minor feature that maybe people didn't ever realize that we have in the wallet. Like, I don't know if you have noticed, like when you send a transaction to some wallets, you get blind for some time, right? You don't see anything like it's pending or if it's in the blockchain or it's in the local, what's happening there. So then we decide like, back in a year or two ago, like we, we have the status like for the transaction, whenever you send any transaction, you see like pending, and then we check for the confirmation whenever it happens. Um, <clears throat> and then this year we took the the challenge to, to bring the notifications on, which is like today you can have notifications for any transactions you can send, like send and receive transactions to your wallet. Yeah. so. You, you can receive um, notifications from anything that you receive or you send or uh, whenever it's uh, confirmed in the blockchain. We wait three confirmations to send the notification, then we confirm it, it's confirmed when you received. And then we went to the route to build a completely track system for or track notification uh, for tokens where you can set price target or you can set percentage wise up or down for 
certain tokens. And you can also like he set it to run like every one hour or once every 24 hours. So it's a completely track system for price, I, I'd say. And then on Cardano Shield, well, actually the um, integration with them was amazing because they are very nice guys to talk and very easy. And the API, it's awesome. Uh, we actually did the integration in about a week. And we, today we provide like users can take advantage of all the features they offer, like uh, checking for websites, uh, checking for tokens or what the kind of transactions you are doing. And if they can reach the tokens inside of the transactions, you always get like uh, the score gets higher, right? Because you have low, medium and high. Um, and this is, was our approach to it. Like uh, we want to keep concise inside of our UI and our design UX language. So I think it's like highlighted enough for the users to understand like what risks they are taking here. Um, but yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, maybe I'll kick things off here with the notifications first, since we just got off of that topic. Um, the customizability, I think, is huge. Again, I think a lot of people have gotten used to custom notifications, but only when they're sending and receiving. As you mentioned, the ability to also set up custom alerts or notifications when certain tokens reach certain prices, uh, et cetera, I think is, is humongous. Now, it, it's easy to get overwhelmed with notifications that you don't need or notifications that, that don't provide value. Um, so it might be interesting to see, you know, over the long haul, because I assume, and I could be incorrect here, that you might have insights to actually be able to see when somebody opens up an actual notification, right? So let's say I set up a notification to get an alert when a particular token moves past a certain price, et cetera. But if I'm not necessarily actually doing anything or opening those, those notifications, it might not be in my best interest to keep those on, right? So it would be interesting to see if there's maybe some sort of way in the future for you guys to be able to dictate, hey, you've turned on these alerts or these notifications, but you're not necessarily using them. Maybe you want to focus on these, or maybe you guys can provide suggestions as to what some of the most useful notifications could be in the near future. Now, shifting and talking about the Cardano Shield, what I love about your guys' integration is the look in the theme of things. It looks extremely simple as you guys uh, made it, right? Where it's red, yellow, or green. It's like, you know, a traffic light outside. You know to stop when it's red. When it's yellow, proceed with caution. And when it's green, you're all good to go. And so again, I want to just quickly highlight that here. I think a lot more wallets need to integrate the Cardano Shield, if not their own sort of safety mechanisms. But I was highly impressed with the quickness that you guys are able to inter integrate this with because we saw the Jiro team integrating, but they were actually working alongside the um, Cardano Shield team for like the first sort of integration. And you guys were like right there. So I was impressed to see number one, the features that the Cardano Shield provides, but then number two, how quickly you guys are able to take advantage of that. Again, really showing how easy and I mean, I'm assuming here how easy it was to kind of plug that API into your platform. So I would love to see more wallets doing that. Now, if you don't have any responses to that, I want to shift the conversation over, but I want to give you a chance to maybe respond to my comments surrounding notifications or the Cardano Shield. Yeah, uh, I'd like to touch a little bit on the notification side. Um, how the notification works today, like for transactions you're going to receive, it's uh, whenever you sign up for. And the price part, um, if you trigger, uh, if you set a price target, it's going to trigger just once. Mm. And then the that notification will be disabled. So if you go for the percentage wise, you have to set like it's either one, every one hour or every 24 hours. So it, like if you were, let's say, I think it's easy enough for the user to understand like he, uh, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a token that's up 5% or down 5%. So uh, then, you know, like it, that would be an user for enough for them. But it, it is easy for you to, to exclude as well. So you just delete the notification and that's it. You stop receiving it. So, um, but yeah, and on the Cardano Shield side, like he, I'm very happy with the partnership with, we did with them. Um, I'm looking forward to do more because they, I know they are developing other features uh, like um, setting the uh, verifying transaction between wallets. So 
it's another step that we can move forward. And there is also like uh, I've seen um, other wallets already marking uh, tokens as a scan. We have been uh, talking about that too. Um, we may enable this feature. We have been talking with PM because they have the list, but we need to come up with something to improve this process because today it's, uh, it's basically like a, a manual process, right? So someone report them and then you have to mark it. Yeah, I think I spoke with Adam from the Cardinal Shield about that. And yeah. he mentioned utilizing AI and language learning models to kind of hone in on some of these tokens, right? For example, if a wallet was just spun up couple of hours ago and it's minting a ton of tokens and then distributing them you know to a bunch of random addresses that it has no associations with nine out of ten times you probably want to be careful of you know what it is they're just that they're distributing again i think a lot of this stuff um it's not going to happen overnight but there's certain key points that you can take a look at to understand okay whatever this wallet is doing may not necessarily be um, a good action. Therefore, we just at least want to put a flag. It's not to say, hey, it's a complete scam, but at least kind of mm -hmm. raise the alarm for somebody to come in there and do that manual review. Now, let's kind of keep the conversation rolling here, Francis, into the fiat on ramp and off ramp. A lot of wallets right now only support Cardano once you've sent it or bought it from a centralized exchange, for example, like Binance or Coinbase. You know, those are the ones that people are familiar with. But you guys have implemented a new feature here to all allow for onboarding directly from within the wallet. Can you highlight the partner that you've partnered up with to do that? And then why you've, you've chosen to kind of go down that route? So we we actually have a transact since a year ago, um, but it was a, a, like a V0, like a very small integration, like you click and then you open the pop-up. It was a, um, a step back that what he had we we have today and today we this feature like he was uh bringing more uh, a deep integration within their api so we are using the api to leverage everything from user experience right it's easier like he you set in the mobile in in the screen what the value how much you want to 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 buy and then you're going to see the price the estimatives and then whenever you click to continue, you go to finish the transaction there. So uh, your wallet address is already there. You just have to fill the small, um, uh, they have a QAC process, but it's very small, very minimal one. And the, the good part for that, because you just do once and any time, the next time you, you log in with your email, you don't need to fill anything, um, any extra information. So you just keep buying. Um, why we decided to do that because i think it's part of the onboarding process right so if a new user is coming to cardano ecosystem or crypto world like how they get the token first um they would need to go to exchange to open account exchange fiat for the token then send to their wallet which is a it's a massive process for users that are not used to how crypto works. Um, but yeah, and this is on our um, radar. Like he, we need to make the user life easier as possible. And like he, to, to broaden the onboarding for non-crypto users or beginners in, in general, we need to make it easy and putting everything in the wallet. Yeah, I was gonna, you literally took the, the words out of my mouth. I was gonna mention, I think a wallet needs to be a platform that's a one-stop shop where you come in, you download the wallet, whether that's on Chrome, Google, whatever, or even just on mobile, like Begin Wallet, again, has a web-based and a mobile-based. But then from there, you shouldn't have to interact with anything else to get what you need to get done, right? So as you mentioned, you guys being SIP30 compliant, able to connect to some of the biggest apps on Cardano, make transactions. You can obviously send and receive directly from other peers, right? Which I think is just expected at this point. But then now to also be able to onboard, you really don't have to go anywhere else once you download the Begin Wallet, right? So again, I think you guys have taken a really awesome step forward. I would love to see more wallets integrating fiat on ramps and off ramps, for example, like NAMI, Uroi, Lace, et cetera. Again, otherwise you've got to go through some sort of centralized exchange to get that early ADA into the wallet first before you can really begin to explore things on your own. Next, I want to jump into 
just the marketing of the audience. So again, you guys have come on my radar as, as of late, and I'm happy because again, I feel like you guys um, have been working extremely diligently. You know, what are the plans to make Begin Wallet much more known, or maybe just get people who aren't aware of Begin Wallet to kind of switch over and give you guys a shot? Yeah, so uh, the message we are sending to, to everyone uh, that got in touch with us, uh, we actually this morning, we did a um, space with Comdano guys. It was an amazing shot. Um, like he, what we are asking for the community is like, just give us a try and you may like it. You know, like there is other options, yes. Um, but we have, we do have some unique features and we have our U UX and that's different. Um, we are very proud of the work we have been putting on. Um, and in terms of marketing wise, like this year we onboard um, a market team that's helping us to move forward. And they are doing an incredible job because all this work you guys see um, are done from them. And like, like we got we, we got into the spotlight now that we have this team and they are doing amazing. I can thank them enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome to see this all really coming together. Um, for anybody who hasn't tried the Begin Wallet, I will definitely leave the links to it down below. Available for Apple, available on Chrome, and I believe it's available also on the Google Play Store as well. Um, so again, check the links down below. Some of the features include the ability to swap, the ability to stake, to be able to view charts, notifications, view NFTs, view recent activities, and all that is manageable via your settings. That said, Francis, I really thank you for joining me here today. If there's any sort of parting words or closing thought that you want to share with the community, what would those be? Yeah, so I, I think just one point that I, I want to recap here about the notification. You can receive notification on the browser as well, just for like, <laughs> you thank can you. I didn't even realize. like, yeah, you can send, you can receive notifications on Chrome or Brave for price and transactions. Yeah, um, I guess like we are, we are a small team and we are building on Cardano since the day one. Um, we do want to move forward. Like our roadmap for this year is quite big. Um, we are working on some business model to, to bring revenue to the wallet and what we can ask for the community, just give us a try and give us feedback, join our Discord channel or our Twitter, uh, Begin Wallet, um, and give us feedback. Uh, we are completely open um, to feedbacks and anything that we are, might be missing or we can talk like that feature is missing, but it's on, on our radar to later this year. So, yeah. Yeah, there's never a shortage of suggestions from the Cardano yeah, community. If you've ever exactly. been in Discord, people want everything. Uh, oh, so yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have a long laundry list of features to add here. Um, again, Frank, so I want to thank you so, so much. Um, I'll be playing around with the Begin Wallet even more here, providing my community with tutorials and updates surrounding my personal experience. Again, for anybody who's watching this and being exposed to the Begin Wallet for the very first time, please make sure to check it out using the links down below. Francis, I can't thank you enough here for your time, member representing the Begin Wallet team building here on Cardano, as you heard him say, since day one. With us here through the bear market, hopefully beginning to shine as the bull market picks up. That said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's chat, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If if it's your first time stopping by and you want more content like this highlighting everybody building in Cardano, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions surrounding the features, the roadmaps, or just want to get in touch with the Begin Wallet team, then number one, check out the description down below. But the number two, make sure to go ahead and leave a comment. That said, and as always, we'll see you all in the next video.